Oh, 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 crikey, that's bright, isn't it? Hello, good morning, I should say. It's 6 a.m. And can you believe it's that bright at 6 a.m.? Jeez, it's been like that since like 4.30. Good morning and welcome back to Daily Diaries. This week I thought I would do a little what I eat in a day because I haven't done that for a while and also building up to the Olympics and training's ramping up, I thought I'd you know, get you know, a little back into it. Oh, look at these cute little plants. And I've also got another cat sofa for a friend, although you can't really see it because it's too bright and it's in the shade. I'm gonna start off just woken up. Just made the bed, kind of, <laughs> and now I'm gonna go in here to the bathroom. Ooh. One of the first things I do in the morning, each morning, is weigh myself. And that's not only mainly because to be able to track where I'm at, every like three weeks, four weeks, we get like actual body composition done where we get like skin folds and all that kind of stuff. But I just like to keep an eye on what I'm doing in between times so that I don't go off track. And then I have two glasses of water as soon as I wake up. Like literally two big old glasses of water. They always have like a, they've got a flashing light bulb as well, which is really annoying. I need to change that. Anyway, so yeah, I always have two glasses of water in the morning just because overnight, I mean, you're not drinking anything and you want to be hydrated and start your day well, so I always have a couple of glasses of water. Occasionally I'll put some lemon juice in it as well, if I've got some lemons around, but if not, I just drink the water. Um, I'm not usually a big supplements guy, but like in the build-up to this Olympics, I am taking supplements just to make sure that I am like staying healthy as possible. So I've got like my general allergy medication. It, it looks like a lot, but it's just because some of them I have to take a couple of pills for them. But it's like allergy medication, vitamin C, vitamin D, a multivitamin, an omega-3, and a probiotic. So, just gonna go ahead and whack them all in, to be honest. It's a lot of pills to do in one, but... I also do this weird thing where I drink first. Mm. 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 Ah, all the pills taken now. I'm gonna go upstairs and start making breakfast. Robbie's not awake yet, because he wakes up at normally about, well, any time between really 6.30 and 7. Let's go upstairs and eat. Most of you know I'm a huge coffee person, so usually in the morning I start off with one pod for a coffee. When I say I start off with one pod, it's because usually I have two coffees in the morning, depending on maybe three, <laughs> but start off with one, and then I'll show you what I add into it. So I add in like some collagen and some creatine is usually why I add into coffee in the morning, just for joint health and also for also for my um, creatine, it's like an energy thing, so supplement that I've been using for a while. When you get to my age in sport, you have to literally throw the kitchen sink at it to get there, so we're doing everything we can. I also have this, in order to top it up with some hot water, I don't put milk in my coffee, I've got this tap. Do, do, oh it goes red, you double tap it, starts blinking, and like magic, boiling water. So I get some boiling water, so that's the coffee ready, and now onto the actual food before Robbie wakes up. Although I start making Robbie's breakfast before because he usually has eggs in the morning because he like before now, so what time is it now? 6.25 and I'm up, I usually make him like eggs on toast or beans on toast or he might have some cereal or he might just not. Sometimes he'll want a bagel or whatever but you know, depending on how hungry he is and how much time he have, depends on what he gets for breakfast. He kind of pretty much chooses. My usual breakfast when I'm training is pretty similar always. It's a um, eggs and porridge. I have, usually I have four eggs. I know it sounds like a lot, but in terms of to hit the protein macros that I'm looking to hit, I have four eggs. I'm gonna be cracking five into here though because usually I have like three and a half and Robbie has one and a half eggs. So the eggs are going in to a little mug, whisk them up, and I scramble them. 
I don't do anything fancy with my scrambled eggs on like during the week because you know on the weekend I might do it on like a cornbread or I might do it like you know with a little bit of butter but during the week I literally just put it into like a non-stick pan and cook them you know, and put a bit of salt and pepper on it. I don't really use that much oil. Anyway, I'm gonna start making these eggs. My next thing is making oats for some porridge. I got some oats. Get a third of a cup of oats. My ratio of oats to milk tends to be equal parts volume, so like what if will double volume. So for example, if I've got one third of a cup of oats, I put two thirds of a cup of milk in and I have skimmed milk here. Did you just hear that something fell over in the fridge? And I just put this in the microwave for like two minutes twenty. And this lovely pan is what Sophie and Liam got me for my birthday, which I was buzzing about, and I literally just use it for my eggs now. I want my eggs to be able to be cooked in a non-stick pan. <laughs> I only use this thing in the pan as well, so I try not to actually like break it. And the last part of my breakfast is I get a mug and I kind of half fill it with Cheerios as a little extra top up. I actually do stick to the 30 grams that you're meant to have as a portion. So like this is how much you actually get. And if you put that in a bowl, it looks like nothing. <laughs> but it's just a little top up of carbs while if I'm doing two sessions. So today I'm doing two training sessions. If I'm doing one training session, I'll take those extra carbs out because I won't need them because I'm not gonna be burning them. So I essentially I try and fuel around how I'm training. Also, if you like your eggs spicy, this is a game changer. It's sriracha ketchup from M&S and look at it, it is amazing. I, I'm not usually a big fan of spicy hot sauce on like everything, like some people, but I actually really like that because it's kind of like sweet and spicy, so yeah, the sriracha, the sriracha is good, the sriracha is good. So yeah, I'm gonna go and sit and eat this before Robbie wakes up. So start with my eggs, then I eat my porridge, then I eat my Cheerios, and I've also got this hot shot. Orange, lemon, turmeric, ginger, and cayenne pepper. It's quite spicy. You know, it's good for vitamin C and inflammation, but, woo, it gets your throat, I'll tell you that. Oh, and not forgetting Robbie's little eggs. I'm gonna get them here ready so they're cooling down for when he wakes up. I've got his little monitor on my laptop, so I can wait to watch him for when he wakes up. What I usually do in the mornings as well is I sit and watch the news, get caught up um, with everything that's going on. So BBC More Breakfast. Names, such oh. as Gareth Bale is 21-year-old defender Ben Kabanga, who's preparing for his first major tournament. He watched Euro 2016 in their run to the semi-finals. Me. Back anyway, so I'm going to sit and eat this. Here you are, sir. There's your bagels. You've got your eggs. What do you say? Thank you. Good boy. Big stretch. Uh. Uh. Mm. No, I want a cup of tea. Oh, okay. I'll make you a cup of tea. Face. Oh, what is your face? Is it recording? Can you tell me a story? Okay. Once upon a time, there was a, a camera house. Well, the whole time there's a camera. Hello. Hello. So I'm on my way to the pool now. Have my breakfast. I did have two coffees in the end. So yeah, heading for my first training session now. Just finished my dry line session and next up on the left is the banana. Stole Mat Matty's banana. So in between training the pool, the dry line and pool, I normally just top up with a bit of a carb before I have my protein at the end of the session unless I've done weights because most of the stuff we've been doing is kind of cardio we based rather than strength stuff. So in we go with the banana. Um, so yeah. So essentially we practice those things in the dry land to practice for in the pool. So you'll see the inward one and a half takeoff that we do in the gym translates directly to the pool. And after that little snack, I'm into the pool for about an hour or so, doing some basic, well this morning I'm doing some basic skills and a little bit of temi required. So it should be a nice quick session, but here's a little time lapse of it for you. So 
just finished the session and now I'm going in to have my recovery. So my recovery, but essentially it's a protein bar because I would have more carbs than that usually if I wasn't gonna have carbs with my for lunch because I tend to go easier on the carbs after my uh, pool session, get the protein hit, still got 14 grams of carbs and then I will have my bigger portion of carbs with my lunch, which is coming up in a bit. So here is, I've got my protein bar, 20 grams of protein and 14 grams of carbs. In it goes. So now lunchtime, I've got a iced coffee. They're all playing cards and looking at me like an idiot because I'm talking to a camera. And I've got some leftovers that I'm having for my lunch, which is like a stir fry thing, some noodles, chicken and veggies. So, like I said before, didn't have as many cards after my training session because I knew that I was gonna have this thing of noodles. So, in a, they're just like, it's just like an M&S ready to go stir fry, to be honest, because I had to do a quick and easy dinner for Robbie. But now I'm eating it for my leftovers, so. Mm, 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 mm. Tastes good the next day, to be honest. Not gonna lie to you. Big old bit of broccoli. Mm. So after that lunch, now I'm getting going with some light cardio, just a warm up. 20 minutes on the bike, um, in the middle of the pool, because of my view of the balcony, which is nice. So yeah, a little bit of a pedal of the legs. And then we go into the gym, and we're gonna do a little bit more conditioning and things like that. And then we get in the pool. But yeah, so I'm here for 20 minutes. Lucky me. Ooh, nice little steady, sweaty 20 minutes on the bike. Nothing crazy, just like steady going. Also, it's really hot in here. I think they've got it set at like, it's like 60% humidity and 29, 30 degrees Celsius in here because it's obviously got to be warm enough for the diving pool and all that kind of stuff to stay warm. But yeah, sweaty. Now I'm warmed up, so I'm gonna go down and get conditioning. So I just finished another training session in gym and pool. Now I'm going to have I went, when I went and got my coffee, I got some sweet and salt popcorn, 15, so again, it's quite low on the carbs still. Normally I'm aiming for about 25 after training session, but it wasn't like that challenging for me, so I've got a shake and a popcorn. So this shake has like, it's like a 90% isolate thing, whey, protein, something, I don't know, but it's essentially, it's 20 grams, 20, 25 grams of protein, and then I'm gonna have those popcorns to wash it down with, lovely jubbly, it's gonna, then it's time to go home and get dinner ready for us. I think tonight I'm gonna have salmon. That's what I've got in the fridge. So just got home and it is currently 4.30 and made myself a decaf coffee because that is the, I don't know, sometimes I get home and I'm a little bit peckish, well not necessarily peckish, I just get home and I'm like, I want something. And either like, usually I'll have either a mint tea or a decaf coffee, you know, when you just need a little something something to keep you going till dinner. I, I eat dinner quite early. I eat dinner at 5.30 because I eat it with Robbie. Um, Cause he starts his bedtime routine at 6.30. So we eat before that. And yeah, I mean, that'll all be to come. So for dinner, I have made this like Asian salmon thing. So I've got some salmon that I've done in the pan with some soy sauce. So then I've got rice, I've got some grated carrots, some shiitake mushrooms, some sprouts and carrots as well. So basically I just eat lots of veggies to fill me up and I've got a little bit of rice because I've done two sessions today and I'm feeling a little bit hungry. So, I mean, it looks like a big old plate of food, but trust me, it's gonna be gone because I'm hungry. So I'm all showered now after, and Robbie's in bed. Up, to be honest, he's been a dream lately. I know I've probably jinxed it now, but it's, what time is it? 10 past seven. He's already in bed asleep. And I won't see him now until about 6.30, 7 o'clock, so I can have a nice little evening of knitting away. But um, one thing I do have once he goes to bed is a, I'd like to say, margarita. But that ain't happening until after the Olympics. So instead, I have casein. I've got cookies and cream flavour. It's like an overnight slow release protein that helps with sleep and recovery. So I take that and also because sometimes on like a hard, particularly hard training session, I have this sour cherry juice concentrate. Top it up with water and it's all good to go. It helps with inflammation and things like that. It's not always good to take when you're trying for uh, like training adaptations, so like in pre-season I probably wouldn't take it, but for like when I'm starting to peak I will take it a little bit more often and especially going into competition I will always take it just to give me a little bit of extra. <laughs> so yeah, a little shake and a cherry juice before I go to bed. For the win. So that's what I eat in a day. I hope you found that interesting. I don't know if you do, but 
it changes all the time depending on how much training I'm doing, but I thought I'd start the question and answer now. Do you and Lance find it hard to be apart after spending so much time together over the past year? I mean, we always found it hard to be apart from each other, to be honest. We always, like, love, well, we have, you know, we love each other, so love we like being in each other's company, and the same with, you know, being away from Robbie. Um, but, you know, modern technology, we're able to FaceTime or we're able to speak to each other all the time, so we're used to it at this point, um, but it is always nice when I get to come home. Here's another question. Do you keep in touch with people that have been on your past Olympic teams? Yes, I do. Uh, especially like, for example, Sarah Barrow, she was at the pool today. Leon Taylor is coming to the pool tomorrow. Uh, Tonya Couch, I see her all the time. Um, and generally just lots of people, like, and there's also uh, divers from different countries and past Olympics and things like that. So I'm invited to go to one of my good friend Rachel Bug's wedding at the end of this year, but that's in Australia, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to go. But anyway, it's, you know, yes is the answer. We, we do keep in touch because it is kind of like, you know, you go through so much together. Next question. Congrats, Tom. Do you have trouble sleeping when you're not with Lance? No, I don't. I sleep like a log because I, I'm someone who gets really, really hot in the night. So I just like to be able to spread out when I can, take the covers off when I can and do all that kind of stuff and not have to worry about waking someone up next to me. So I know, I mean, it's nice on Lance's day and I sleep just as well, really. But, you know, having that like freedom to like spread out and just like, I do quite like. Lance was, will say the opposite, but you know, sleep is sleep. And the top comment was, anyone else love that Tom's relationship with Matty is very sibling-like? It's so cute. And to be honest, it is very sibling-like. You know, at, at the same time, like, we're best mates and we, it's nice to be able to train with someone that you get on with really well and you feel like you can talk about everything with them. So, it's, you know, it's, it's good. And I'm excited about what the next few weeks slash months, couple of months, have in store for us. So, it's exciting times. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. Leave a comment below for questions that I'll answer next week. Let me know what you thought about what I ate. Peace.